Let's take a look at how to set up the software to send RS-232 to a machine. We already have the part that we used from the MIL tutorial open. Whether it's MIL, lathe, or any machine, these steps to set up the RS-232 will be the same. In Bobcat, I already have the code produced. We'll then click on Modules, Edit CNC. This will launch the editor. From within the editor, there's a menu titled DNC, with the option to send or receive from the CNC. In order to send and receive via a RS-232 cable, you have to have the proper settings set up within the software. In this case, we'll go to Properties and look at those settings. In the DNC settings, you get a choice of port and you choose which port your RS-232 port is set up on the computer. If you're unsure of this, you can find this through your computer settings. The more detailed instructions on how to do that are up on our website, bobcad.com. The baud rate needs to be set to match the baud rate that's set on your machine controller, as well as the parity, the data and the stop bits and flow control. You will need to gather these items before attempting to set this up. There is a checklist available up on our website at www.bobcat.com and these items are listed under support. You can also go to your machine and check its RS-232 setup and gather these numbers from there. These numbers are usually also within the machine's manual. You set up the settings to match your machine, then choose Next. The Next screen gives you options to add in codes for starting and sending a program. These are usually included, like the percent sign here, in Bobcat when it posts. We'll choose Next again. You can also choose to eliminate any characters or change any characters on send or on receive. When you get to the last screen, the carriage return line feed or CRLF, the default values usually work. You usually ignore it on the send and use window style on the receive. Once you've done this, click finish. When the settings match between the machine and the software and a cables plugged in that's been properly configured you should be able to open up the file then go to DNC send to CNC and the program will send to the machine for further instructions please look online at bobcat.com under support